Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich as a commune of France. Let us continue on from the last night off. So, we are currently helping out the Russians try to win their second civil war, giving us a pretty solid ally, I would have to say. I'm gonna try to take this war. I don't know how many troops the uh, Don Kuban has. But you, yeah, you come down here. Move your way to Nova uh, Cheresk. It also guarantees that in the future, Russia will not try to attack us. Which is definitely a thing that can happen. La Troyes Internationale. We have been preparing for Internationale since 1927. Now we are nearly ready to hold the first congress right here on Montanary Hill in Paris. Built on the ruins of Sacre Coeur. I, look, I don't really speak French. Even though I took like four years in French class. Can't speak it. For three days, the city will host delegates from almost every socialist, syndicalist, and Bolshevik party from all across the world. We, the French, will take the floor first, as we are still planning on hosting the first congress and continuing to work on the second international. So a lot of people are not going to like us, but, you know, a handful of people will like us. Mexico, Nicaragua. Thankfully, we get at least a little bit of stability off of this. Cheaper weapons. I mean, that, like, look. Six civilian factories, four military factories. It's incredible. It's so good. That's, that's like a, what is that, like a, about like a 15% jump in total number of factories? Like, how could you refuse those wonderful numbers? We're gonna move you down towards the capital. Take all this land. Uh, okay, we got a research speed. Next, go up for the next research upgrade. You might as well move over here, trying to meet up with these guys. The White Army usually won't really have that many troops. Like, the Solar are supposed to win. In the event of the Civil War. Then go down to this city. I don't know if just taking you will be enough for you to capitulate and immediately join up with the Russians. I mean, it would be nice, don't get me wrong. I mean, that Don Kubin would not be a threat in the future. How are you still alive, by the way? Okay. Send out the invitations. Everybody gets to join the International. Okay, well, Don Kubin's already dead. That's actually incredible to see. Choosing the host city for the International Workers Olympiad. The Socialist Workers Sports International has asked us to assist in supplying the 1937 edition of the International Workers Olympiad. While previous Olympiads have taken place in cities all over Europe, most notably the 1931 Games in Vienna, the worsening political climate has made the games within the cyclist block the safest bet. It is now up to us to choose a location for the 5th International Workers Olympiad. We go in Marseille. Or we can give it, you know what? I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna give it to the Italians. We can host it in Turin. They're not in the they're not in the alliance, so it actually makes sense. We might be doing a little bit more give some overtures. And the delegates have arrived. So you guys now. Um I'm going to move you about here. I think right there seems about right. Then in the army. We can improve worker conditions. I mean, eh. I mean, actually get the stability up. What's worse for us? Recruit population, recovery rate's pretty bad, or factory output is bad for... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll improve the work conditions. Also, support the Russian, what do we need to do for you? I mean, I'm already supporting them, I've already got volunteers in the country. Okay, game... Uh, 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 there you go. We need weapons, which I actually don't have because I'm trying to train my own army up. But I mean, they should be more or less uh, capable of winning this war on their own. The chairman of the committee, the Salo Public, takes the floor. Now everyone is assembled and the Congress has begun. It's time to take stage to open discussion. The Prime Minister took the stage first and discussed the purpose of the Third International. After the uh, purpose of the Third International is made clear, discussions will begin. You must use any means to overthrow the international bourgeoisie. Thank you for the stability. We're slowly getting it back up to reasonable levels. City Club in Spain. Jacqueline. Uh, Oscar Bredra has taken the stage and elaborated the position of the CNT FAI in Spain for the Congress. CNT FAI is the largest syndicalist party in Spain, made up of the anarcho syndicalists, moder moderate syndicalists, and trade unionists. The Spanish Revolutionaries has seen a white terror, violent counter revolutionary actions against like, workers firsthand. They've come asking for support in their cause when the moment comes. Yes, we will support them 100% when the moment arises. We'll definitely send in as many volunteers as we can. We're going to send you over into Blue Army for right now. 
Okay, Jack, John, Reed, and the Combined Syndicates. The American journalist, poet, and syndicalist activist John Reed has spoke uh, to the Congress for an hour and 15 minutes about the crisis facing the United States and the chance for revolution in the Western Hemisphere. Following the footsteps of Benjamin Franklin, Mr. Reed laid out the situation in America very clearly. In the South, the American First Committee is stronger than the central government, and in the North is suffering from depression as the West Coast prospers. This economic imbalance has caused the massive unemployment along the Great Lakes, and the people are ready for radical change. Okay, America doesn't like us right now, but that's okay. Unemployment and radicalism in Latin America. Latin American countries were the hardest hit by all the stock market crash in Berlin, and there's been a great awakening amongst the people. Socialist and syndicalist parties grow larger by the day. Paired with unemployment, we should decide our policy in Latin America, where the left-wing radicalism is happening. Okay, let's begin to nurture syndicalism. Unfortunately, I don't think I see any decision to do that. Yeah, but Mexico's right now socialist, Nicaragua's socialist. And what is next? Women's role in the worldwide revolution. Today, the British feminist Helen uh, Crawford put to, uh, to the stage with her flaming speech about the women's role in the world revolution. According to her arguments about women's participation in industry and armed forces, it may be impossible to defeat the many enemies of the proletariat. However, heeding the call is likely to cause some disturbances among the more conservative elements of the society. I mean, I we'll, 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 we'll accept women. Women can exist. <laughs> Okay, policy on the Italian Peninsula. The Foreign Minister of the Social Republic of Italy appeared before the uh, First Presidential Congress, making the case for the Republic in its efforts to unify the Italian Peninsula in the face of traitors beyond the Po, the Sicilian Kingdoms, and their theocratic vassal in Rome. Involvement in Italy could prove beneficial in spreading the revolution, but could lead to conflict with the reactionary Austrian Empire responsible for protecting the regime in Milan. Okay, they're all going to be mad with us. And Karmat Sal Mohammed wants to speak. Karmat Sal Mohammed, a prominent Algerian socialist, was allowed to speak before the Congress. He was given a rousing speech on the situation in Morocco and French Algeria, where Arab labor is abused and exploited for the benefit of the wealthy and the colonial establishment. Sayal urged the Congress to put an immediate stop to the situation. He proposed the creation of a socialist anti-colonial committee that will work to supply local syndicalist anti-colonial conspirators in North Africa. We will uh, support the creation of said committee. I honestly, I don't know if I've ever actually seen it really do too much. And the White Terror. We heard Jacqueline uh, Ascot Gilberto speak of the White Terror horror stories that have been coming out of Madrid and Barcelona. And Kurt Eisner, a Bavarian socialist, wanted to delve deeper into the topic of White Terror, and he was given the floor. After hearing more stories that have come out of Germany, Austria, Hungary, Russia, and Finland, the Kronk members were ready to make their decision. Another reason we must end capitalism, murder, and robbery, and support for the Bahari Commune. Yeah, Philly Political Power, I'll support them. They can theoretically join the Internationale. I don't think it was, it's not likely, but they could. And the world economic crisis in the role of the Internationale. The stage has been set for the revolution to begin. With the Berlin stock market crash, mass unemployment has risen in Europe and South America, and trade unions have begun to grow in both as a result. You can also tell that these um, events are a little bit old. Just because they're not like five paragraphs each. Okay, let's move our way up north. How close are the white Russians to dying? They are currently at 74%. So you know what? Delete this. Move here. We want to be moving our way towards our capital. And the Cambridge Congress. Along with the politicians of London, a separate meeting of scientists from France and Britain took place in the old University of Cambridge. It was decided that the syndicalist countries should combine the research in order to develop a weapon capable of protecting the revolution from the increasingly aggressive imperialist threat. And that should be, um... One of you. I don't remember which one it is. The, the, yeah, the Damocles. Okay, and the end of the first Congress. Six stability. We completed that event. Very happy to see. We got our cheaper weapons. I mean, do we want six civilian factories first? Probably your research upgrade. Which would be nice, but it's not as important in 36. Because, I mean, most people aren't really researching. It's going to be too many unique things right away. Okay, so give me modern farms next. Be very happy to get those. Okay. okay and that was Labor Day. Today, all around the world, democratic, socialist, and syndicalist governments are celebrating International Workers' Day. Labor Day or May Day. May Day has become an international celebration of the social and economic achievements of the working class and labor movement, and it's celebrated widely throughout the Commune of France. Thank you for five political power. I mean, we're still at negative 12, but every little bit helps. We'll get you going. We'll get you going. Industry tech out the wazoo. But yeah, let's see if you can take your capital. Whether or not that will just capitulate you. I think it, it might. 
mean, you still have, like, what, Archangel? You still got Merman's Cup in the north. You still got some pretty important cities, but, I mean, like, you got... You're just vastly outnumbered. It's not even a contest, but who has more troops right now? Deploy another unit. We have... How many days left on you? I know we just took it, but, yeah, okay, 45. A little bit over a month and a half. Right a little bit under a month and a half. Rough, roughly around there. But the commune soldiers are moving bravely through the Urals. To take this city that we definitely do need for, uh, for victory. Yeah, I mean, I think it seems like they're going very well. I don't know why you're docking rights with the left camp T. But, you know what, Sh sure. Okay, and it looks like there's actually nobody in the capital. But I think when that city falls... Yeah, there we go. Boom, done. We're going to return home. We'll just assign them right into the Purple Army on the Belgian border. Of course, we need to immediately intervene in Spain. They freaking won uh, of the Spanish Civil War. Again, assuming it happens. There's always a slight chance that it is just avoided. But I'd like to make sure that doesn't happen. Is there anything we're also building that we don't actually need? I mean, they, I mean, this all okay. I'm actually gonna give one less on you. Honestly, I'm gonna put even more on infantry equipment for right away. Actually, no, 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 no. Give, give me back this. Throw it on tanks. So you guys have collapsed right now. You're social democratic. I would wouldn't mind if Latvia ended up joining the international. Of course, I believe they would join up with the Russian side of the international. I'm pretty sure. Okay, Finland's on the Reichs Pact. Understandable. Given that Russia has now gone uh, socialist. But do we know if anybody else is kind of leaning in that direction right now? I mean, Norway is... I mean, they, they got their elections coming up later this year. I don't think we're really going to know until then. Okay, I also want to make sure all my navies... Combine them all together. They can actually all be in Brittany. Actually, no. They should be in Algeria. They should be down here to make sure the French don't do anything. Or I'm just going to hope that the Union of Britain can defend our coastal waters in the north. I have a feeling that they should be able to. But it also ha involves a little bit of hope. Uh, we'll take construction level 2 because it's pretty good. Aside from that, yeah, we've got our navy down here. Because we also want to make sure we can do it while this strait is still neutral. Okay, so it looks like the Syndicalists have won, and the Indo-Chinese Tragedy. Yeah, uh, wait one second. Oh, more stuff popping up. Vietnam, 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 homeland of the South. Thirteen times I heard the outcry in front of the guillotine of Yen Bai. Thirteen men since the death shouted it, one by one, two meters away from climbing the scaffolds. A French journalist, uh, Louis Rabon, witnessed the recent brutal German crackdown in Indochina, our former colony, and the current bastion of German colonialism in the Far East. General Andre Marty, a close friend of the late Indochinese revolutionary Ho Chi Minh, spoke out uh, for the intervention of Indochina. Since the end of the victory, thousands of Indochinese students, workers, and uh, soldiers stayed in France and became firm revolutionaries. If we send them back with civilian arms, we can organize an uh, uprising in uh, Indochina. This would destabilize the German colonial empire and serve the world revolution. Bon voyage! We can at least send troops there. I mean, Indochinese revolt's usually pretty decent to save it. Um, you just need to make sure you definitely have troops stationed in Saigon. It's like the number one thing you got to make sure definitely happens. Okay, Sternberg's actually... Have you noticed that Sternberg's been doing very, very well recently in, like, all of his campaigns? Give me the war economy next. So what are you? You are construction speed. More construction speed. Decent equipment. I mean, you're actually not... I don't think you're that important. We'll finish our war economy. Gives us a ton of factories. So many factories, I think we're actually just gonna... One, two... Yeah, we're just gonna stuff them all here. Wait, no, is it four or is it six? It's four. Uh, we're just going to fill out... Yeah, fill out our tank lines like that. Because our tanks at the moment... They are 20 combat with. How many do we have? Six. I'm going to train two more. And also, we make sure that you are all set. So you'd be the highest priority. And you know what? I'm actually going to put you up to two. More infantry for the revolution. Because after this, we'll probably send troops... 
I mean, I don't, I don't actually really know where he sent troops. We'll film it, make sure both these have in 24 stacks on the Jiren border. But after that, I mean, we can send troops to the Spanish front. We can send troops to make sure they can go and march into Italy as quickly as possible when they join the International, when the Vilcri begins. Okay, Bastille Day. Vive la Commune. Yeah, now you need something. Okay, you're gonna go... I'm, yeah, I'm gonna assign you to the Italian front. Again, just so that when war breaks up, we can quickly move them either towards the Italian Republic or down towards two Sicilies. But again, it also really depends on what uh, Spain ends up doing. We might even need to say, if Spain wins, um, if CNTFAI CN wins the Spanish Civil War, we'll probably put an army directly on the Portuguese border. Because Portugal is definitely going to join the Entente, and we want to make sure we can invade them as quickly as possible. Follow that with better industry. I mean, right now, it does look like we do outnumber the Germans. Yeah, I mean, Black Monday, it's just so bad for them. Okay, so you got 10 more days until you're ready to go. National Avant-Garde. You got Working Women. Your political power gain. What's our political power right now? 0.96. I mean, that's also because we're also improving working conditions to so get our stability up a little bit. Mission to the commune, political power plus 60. Research speed. The road to war. Who gives the decks even more military factories? Yes, yeah, so I guess I'll go road to war after this. Okay, we got three more days, and then you'll be done. Cool, and then we're going to make you immediately up to road to war. Yeah, all these infantry, you're all just going to get immediately deployed into purple army for the time being. Yeah, we actually have one more factory. Screw, make, make more tanks. I would love to have, like, a pretty decent-sized tank force. Especially since we did take the, um, the tank, uh, leader. Does that mean we have a research bonus to you? We don't, but actually I might want to get it. Okay, Indochina has declared their independence. Which means I immediately want to send some volunteers. You can send one division, which I'm going to send uh, half of this army, I guess. Uh, who's the strongest we have in defense? We're going to send you. Send volunteers. We're going to send you over. Don't we also have, like, a bunch of Bolshevik leaders? No. They, they, I think they're actually in um, Patagonia. Actually, no, no, they're not. You know why they're not? Because Russia's socialist. I think they all go back to Russia in that event. So it's like Russia's gone totalist. They've got syndicalist, totalist, syndicalist, totalist. Nobody's gone Radsock. Wait, no, wait, that's not true. Mexico's Radsock. At least for the moment. They might change in the future. But they've got an election coming up in July of next year. As long as they don't go totalist, they can join our alliance. Good to in Algiers. And our units have arrived. But I mean, the AI actually seems like they're defending Saigon now. Which actually is pretty impressive. I'm going to send you up here immediately. Try to take this city. Maybe get an encirclement. That is three units. But again, if we can get the encirclement and can kill them off. And if we can just wait long enough for the, the Tet Defense of the Fire. Which will uh, take northern cities in the, in the north. <laughs> As opposed to the northern cities anywhere else. Yes, yeah, so we've got you encircled. You got some pretty bad modifiers. And if we can end up killing three... Three German divisions, I'd be quite happy with it. I'm going to put you right now on this border. There's a lot of Germany's Asian troops here. But again, if we can clear this out, we'd be looking pretty good. Apparently we're getting uh, independent or... Guaranteeing our independence. I don't know when we did that, but... Might have been a Russian event, actually. Yeah, they, they have bad supplies. They're not concerned in Circle because they technically have um, Siam behind them. They could theoretically retreat into there. Of course, they, they, game, they actually can't in-game. But logically, the uh, retreating army could fall back here. Okay, hold our line. Hold our line. More civilian factories will... Um, Oh, wait, we're at 29. I'm actually going to build more civilian. 
no, yeah, no. We're gonna build some anti-air guns in the uh, front lines. And then... I mean, how cheap, how expensive are anti-air guns? They are 2,500. I'm actually gonna put you at the bottom of the list right now. Build the anti-air guns first. After that, we're gonna go military build up. Give me four more military factories, please. Okay, you're down to two. Yeah, it looks like Parliamentary Siam has won their uh, war. Good for them. Good for them. But I think at least for right now, this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. Thanks everybody for watching. My thanks. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Not to click thumbs down. You want to subscribe and goodbye.